Hi, George here. One of the guided edits that has seen some improvement here in Photoshop Elements 2023 is the Perfect Portrait. Let's take a fast look at that over here, Guided, and that's right here, Perfect Portrait. Let me show you what they've done. Over here in Expert Mode, up under Enhance, and right down here we have Open Closed Eyes and Adjust Facial Features. These have both now been added into that Perfect Portrait tool over in Guided Edit, which I think makes a lot of sense. Let's go ahead and see how that works. Go over here to Guided and Perfect Portrait. I'll have that one selected. There we go. And then it opens it up over here, right-hand side. Now there's quite a few options. Notice that it identifies the face first off. It can then zoom in on the face. You can move the picture just by dragging it like that. Here we go. Step one, smooth skin. It's up to you if you want to do that or not. I'm not going to bother. You can increase contrast. I prefer doing this over in expert mode. You have more control over there. But here's one of those new features, and that's the facial features, which we just took a look at over in expert mode. Click on this. It then opens up that dialog box right here, the facial features dialog box, which allows you to adjust the lips, eyes, nose, face shape, and face tilt. It's mostly designed and works best on faces that are straight on, but it will work here on this kind of a three-quarter view as well. Let's just increase our smile a little bit, and you'll see how that changes the smile. Make just a little bit more of a smile. If it goes too far, it gets kind of weird looking, but just a little bit more is not bad. We can go to the eyes in here and open the eyes up a bit by increasing the height just a touch and the size just a little bit, just a touch. Make that just a little bit larger. There we go. And I think everything else looks just fine on that. When you're happy, choose OK, and you're still in the Perfect Portrait tool here inside of Guided Edit. That's the nice thing about this. It actually brings this other tool into the Perfect Portrait tool. We also have the Open Closed Eyes that's now been added in here. Let me show you that one. I'm just going to cancel out of here and back over to expert mode. And I have this other picture here with these closed eyes. Now, normally what you want for this is you want to have two pictures of the same person looking at the camera in the same way. One with the eyes closed, maybe the person blinked, and the second one eyes open. You can then take the eyes from the open eyes picture and put them onto the closed eyes picture. In this case, I found this one photograph, which actually works out very well with one of the default eye options in here. Let's take a look at that over here. Enhance, and that's right here, open closed eyes. Normally it's standalone right here, but this has now been added over into the Perfect Portrait over in Guided. Again, I think this is a good choice on their part. There's the face. We can zoom in. So we now have our control of the face if we want to. All of our standard tools in here, remove blemishes, stuff like that. But here's the open closed eyes. Brings up that tool just like this. There we go. And how this one picture here actually works out well and shows you how this works. So it takes the eyes from this photograph and puts them onto this photograph. Now this works best if the flesh tones are very similar, the face shape is very similar, and then it does a good job. For instance, if I choose this one, it's just kind of odd looking, but it gives you a good idea of how this works. So if you have good matching pictures, and again, hopefully you have the same picture, same person, eyes closed and eyes open, and it does that. The important part here is that this is now included as part of this perfect portrait tool here inside of Guided Edit, and I think that's a very good choice. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, take a look at my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos, and take a look in the description where you'll find my complete course for Photoshop Elements. And I'll see you next time.